Good morning, welcome back. This is Long Lever, coming to you from Iowa. I uh, got a request on how to do the over under weave with paracord. I think that's the right name, I'm not entirely sure. But this is what it is. I really enjoy this bracelet. It's actually my favorite one to wear, least favorite to make. Uh, it just takes forever. But it's a little bit wider of a bracelet, which is what I like. Uh, it's not as small as the Cobra Weave. It's actually almost twice the size. A little bit, maybe three, maybe one and a quarter the size. Anyways, I like it a little bit better than the Cobra Weave. Like I said, my most favorite to wear, least favorite to make. But my brother-in-law requested that I show him how to make it real fast. It actually is really simple. It's just really time consuming. So start out normal configuration with your um, buckles. So half hitch here, take it down, pull it through from the top down. As you can see, the curves of the buckles, so your wrist would be underneath here. Uh, side note, this is a little jig I made. Um, I got the idea from, uh, what's his screen name? I think it's like Kevin GG, but it's the Paracordist on YouTube and but Facebook. And I got this Twitter. idea from him and he got it from somebody else, but this is just my homemade version. I didn't have the money to, to buy the really, really nice one. So I made one. I like it. It makes it so much easier to make bracelets, especially if you're selling them, the normal Cobra ones. It cuts down on time by like three or four minutes per All bracelet, right. so it's great. For how much cord you need. For the main strands, which are these, the strands that will actually be the base or the inside of your bracelet, you need to take your wrist size, times it by four. So if you have an eight inch wrist, you need uh, 32 inches and then add about six. So for this one, this is just some scraps I had, but for me to make one, I would need about 38 inches of cord for the inside. Doesn't matter what color because you're not going to be able to see it. Um, for the outside strands, you need roughly about a foot and a half to two feet per inch. So I think for the one that I made here, I had 18 feet of the ACU. And I think once I was done, I only had about six inches left. And I have an eight inch wrist, so I used almost all of it. But that's how much cord you need. So let's show you how to make it. All right, so standard braid. You can make whatever color of the inside you want, doesn't matter. Start out with your start out braid. Not braid, but start out cord. And what you'll do is I like to start out, you have four cords, one, a double, and a single. You're going to go under, over the double, and under the single. So you can kind of see how that works. Make sure you have enough cord on this side to kind of keep a hold of it so it stays tight. But what you'll do is you'll just take your hand and you'll slide it up so it's tight. Now, next one, take the same end, do over the single, under the double, and over the single. And push it up and tighten it up. And tighten up that first one too. But you can already kind of see how it's starting to alternate. So take this end under the single, over the double, under the single. You're just making an S pattern. And push it up, tighten it up. And these gaps will disappear once you get enough on there. You can slide them up and they'll actually stay. But this side, over the single, under the double, over the single. And I only use this jig to get it started. Um, I don't like 
to finish it on here and I'll show you why here in a second but once you get it started just keep doing the same pattern pull it tight well pull it tight tighten her up and you can kinda see how it's starting to do that over under but if you look down here you can see how it's kinda getting bunched up this is why I don't like to finish it on this jig because you have to pull all of your cord through every time you make one or you do like I do and just get enough slack and get it started and then take it off because once you take it off come on get off once you take it off then you can just pull it from the end and you don't have to worry about it now what's nice about this bracelet is not only its size and its comfort but once you pop the end braid all you have to do to get it unraveled is pull and the entire 18 feet or so will come right off um, once you get down to the end so you started at this end you worked all the way down the over and the under as you can see it's exactly the same pattern on the other side once you get down to the very end I like to finish it off so you had a single strand and a single strand and then here's the double it's just to make a cobra knot with the two outside strands so it just kinda makes it look a little bit more finished besides you won't see that anyways because it'll be on the bottom of their wrist but once you get it finished cut them burn them melt them lick your finger and then just slide your finger along and it'll actually seal these ends but there's the finished product like I said favorite to wear most favorite not to these make. are just a few of the things that I make um, I have a rifle sling laying around here someplace I'm not really sure where it went but this is a 50 inch belt it took about two hours to make roughly a hundred feet of cord um, these are of course the bracelets that I make um, I do sell all of these on eBay at user dblaber18 uh, I'm also on Twitter at Dr. Dave 2014 and that's it thank you for watching please subscribe please share if you know anybody that likes paracord share my videos um, because I have a great time making them I love paracord it's a pretty good business to get into. If you have any questions, comments, anything, just drop me a message on YouTube or on Twitter. Doesn't matter. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.